Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you have been enjoying the recent Paris content that I've been sharing with you. We had an absolute blast in Paris. It was a fabulous, fabulous trip. I have already shared with you vlogs, taking you to Fendi, to a vintage store that sold Chanel and Hermes, to another Hermes store. I've also shown you the home of Chanel on Rue Cambon. Oh, the vlog, the footage, the Chanel experience in Rue de Cambon was absolutely fabulous. If you haven't watched those vlogs yet, I will link them up above. I really recommend them if you enjoy this type of content because it was a blast. Really, the experience that we had in Chanel, Chanel especially, was second to none. I think it was a highlight of the trip for everyone, but another highlight of the trip had to be our visit to Dior. Now, Dior currently having a renovation of a new store in the Champs-Élysées, but their flagship store, the home of Dior on 30 Montaigne, Oh, that has recently been refurbished. It has been reopened. They had so much special stock in because it had been brought in for their reopening. We had the privilege to see all of that. It was a fabulous, fabulous experience. Also, if you watch here on YouTube, Lorna Style, you should watch her. I will link her down below. Her channel is fabulous and she is fabulous. She arranged for us to have lunch at the Dior Cafe in the 30 Montaigne store. She arranged for us to have a tour of the store. This was, oh, this was a moment, this was an event, this was a fabulous, fabulous experience. Certainly the Dior trip for me was one of the highlights of the trip. Thank you, Florna, for organising this. It was fabulous and I'm going to take you with us now on the vlog to show you the 30 Montaigne Dior store. There is a little bit of footage from one of the other stores showing some of the items I was trying on and then I will take you to the flagship store. You will see a tour, basically, of the store. You will see everything that was there. You will see a lot of the special pieces and the bags that they had. You will also see the cafe, come with us for lunch at the cafe, see the decor. It really was something special. Even the table setting and the food was something special. I really hope you enjoy this. It was such a fabulous experience. So now come with us to Dior 30 Montaigne. I hope you enjoy this. If you do, give it a thumbs up. There's more to come. I also have to share with you Hermes, Louis Vuitton, Gucci. If you enjoy this, please do consider subscribing. And for now, that's enough for me. Let's get over to Dior to show you all of the goodies and everything there was to see. Dior is a fashion house that I am currently falling in love with. The bright colours they have brought out this season to me are just perfection. I love the bright pink, the blues, the yellows, the oranges. Those are just the colours that I can't get enough of. When we saw them in the store windows, I just had to go back and try on some of these beauties. We made a quick stop to the first Dior store. This is the D-Light in the medium size. I thought the embroidery and the colour on this was absolutely fabulous. I also love this book tote with the butterfly design. I normally wouldn't love the book tote. I don't know if I would really use it, but this version would have tempted me. I also love the clothing, the ready-to-wear in this print, in this colour, in this fabric. I think it is having a moment and really on point with the collection they have released at the minute. The bright orange also I think is fabulous. This is what I brought into the changing room to try. I couldn't get enough of these colours. I thought the pink in this with the tiger print and equally this next one coming up with the yellow and the purple. I just thought these were fabulous. I could see myself in these. These were the first bits of Dior ready to wear that I was just really taken by. I thought this lady looked fab so I had to get a quick video of her bag and her outfit. There were more of the book totes. I thought the ambience upstairs in Dior was really really calming. This orange for some reason I thought I would buy this. I loved the bright orange colour. There was something about the shade of the orange I just wasn't sure about. This was comparing the micro. I thought I liked the micro Lady Dior until I saw just how small it is and nothing's fitting in there. This in the daylight again was calling my name. I was really tempted by the Dior colours. The ultra bag maybe not so much the micros, I really did like the look of. They definitely give Cassie Thor Thorpe a tiny bag of energy, but I'm just not sure if they're for me. This is the store on the Champs-Élysées that is being revamped, and then we head round to the 30 Montaigne store. This store is stunning. They had some really fabulous pieces in they had for their relaunch. You can see this is a limited one edition bag. I think there was only a very limited number of these made 
in the world. This bag you may have seen be unboxed on Jojo Lux's channel. She totally fell in love with it. I love the pink on the right in the Lady Dior. This little green number I thought was fabulous. It had uh, crystals on the hardware, which made it very, very beautiful. Now we get to the Dior Cafe. This was a treat. This whole place was beautiful. It's the Dior Cafe. <laughs> Everything about the Dior Cafe experience was elevated. It was definitely experience. They had the table laid out, as you would imagine, with all of Dior's finest. The glasses that Emma Anders fell in love with and had to take home. The decor, even the butter, the knives, the forks, everything was just done to perfection. No detail was missed. The food was really, really good, although it is expensive if anybody is going, although I suppose that's what you would imagine it to be. But for making an afternoon, making an event, making it an experience, I certainly thought it was worth it. I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was, as I've said, one of the highlights for me. It was just something that little bit extra, I suppose, to add on to the trip. And we had a fabulous, fabulous time. After that, we continued on with the, the tour around the store. You'll see some bags in fabulous colours. This orange is grabbing me. I think it's absolutely fantastic. This coat I've wanted for a while. That coat was oh, up my list. Maybe a bit like my Louis Vuitton coat, but it's not out of my mind. This little bag I kept coming back to, the orange mini Lady Dior I kept coming back to. I went off and had a look around the store, had a look at the different bags and the clothing, the ready to wear. The men's as well, I had a look because I really like the men's trainers. You can see here that Anura unboxed on her channel. I would be keen to get a pair of those in my size. The men had some interesting bags in the men's section as well. And also you can see the trainers there to go with them. So we went and visited what they had to offer and just took a, lo a look around the main side of the store as well for anybody that is watching. This is the overview of the downstairs. There is a whole section where you can go and have a look at your book tote and what you would want to embroider on the back of it. I personally liked the really bright colours of the book tote on the back wall. There's the more muted colours. Then there is the micro section. TBE, Cassie Thorpe would be in her element. The colours of them are fabulous. They're just very small. This wall of shoes, I also loved the orange version again. I don't know what is with me with orange at the moment. I really am the sparkle. The sequence and sparkle on that little bag was fabulous. If, again, money had been no object, I would have taken home quite a bit of the Dior ready to wear. I thought a lot of it was actually very wearable on an everyday basis and just stunning. The decor in here, the whole store, this is where you can design what you want to put on a bag. Fabulous. I thought the decor of the Montaigne store was fab. I just really, really enjoyed it. Then went and caught up with Jojo Lux, who was shopping for the bag that she has unboxed on her channel, the beautiful blue water snake, I think it is. Do check out her unboxing. You'll see that in more detail. It was a fabulous, fabulous piece. I'm still drawn to this orange one that's sitting in the background. I just can't put that one away. Oh, there's proof of some purchases sitting with the Birkin. Then we get an overview again of the downstairs of the store. That's just another area where they have so much to see in this particular store. And now we're into homeware. I really enjoyed this. There were quite a few pieces I could bring home. I've already mentioned Emma. If you check out Emma Anders' channel, she has unboxed already some of the Dior homeware pieces that she brought home. She was obsessed with them. She was not leaving without these particular pieces. That is our tour of the Dior store. Thank you for coming with me on this vlog. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Please take care and I will see you again in the next one.